What is up, Hexicans and Pulsinators? Welcome back to another daily recap. Thank you for joining me. A lot of FUD has been going around related to Bitcoin, or sorry, not Bitcoin, eHex. I'm going to cover all that. And then a lot of great tweets I've seen that have come out in the past 24 hours. Uh, I've picked all the gems that I think are valuable. But first off, guys, this came out just a few hours ago. Once again, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, I really hate that, like when you're about to sneeze and you don't sneeze. So CEO of JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon, warns souring commercial bank or commercial real estate loans could threaten some banks. Commercial real estate is the area most likely to cause problems for lenders. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon told analysts, the offsides in this case will probably be real estate. It will be certain locations, certain office properties, certain construction loans. And he says, I think everyone should be prepared for rates to go higher from here up to 6% or 7%. Unless you've been living under a rock, the Federal Reserve has hiked rates higher in this past cycle than it ever has in history. And that's what caused a lot of these banks to default. These banks had their assets in government bonds. And when the Fed raises interest rates, it devalues the bonds. So we also have eight days until the Fed, uh, until the USA defaults on their debt. Comment below, guys. Do you think the Federal Reserve in the USA is going to vote? Congress is going to vote to raise the debt limit. I think that's pretty obvious. But let me know your thoughts about the debt limit in the comment section below. Have you guys heard of this Zen Bitcoin? I'm not a big Zen fan, okay? But this is Zen Bitcoin. It has a 21 million token supply. And I'm here for money. I care about money. And I don't know if you guys know Wolverine. I think he's the guy between Pulse Bitcoin um, which is a kind of Pulse Doge, kind of a cool project. And he basically was transferred this contract and he burnt 50% of the supply. So it went from 21 million tokens down to like 10 and a half million tokens. And as you can see, it's had a pretty massive day. And I'm pretty bullish on this in the short term, but obviously these altcoins are pure speculation. If you want to be safe, don't touch these. I would just stick to the true Richard Hart products. But then again, I'm Hex Pulse Radio. I'm a little bit of a maxi. So you need to do your own due diligence. Also, guys, a yield farm has ended. So if you were staking in the hex, e hex yield farm, you need to go to the finish section. And you can keep your liquidity there. But personally, I took my liquidity out and put it into some different pairs because I really love that incentive token. Uh, your friend Somni talked about this just in. And if you guys don't follow this guy, he's putting out some of the most heat right now. He puts out like five YouTube's, YouTube videos, YouTube videos a day. Great stuff. The yield farms for Hex on Ethereum have both ended suddenly. My guess, there were too many people emergency ending their eHex stakes because the APY on that incentive token in the Hex PHEX pool was crazy. This was not the intended action of the farms. What to do now? I don't know because one, eHex is too cheap to rotate into PHEX. eHex is too cheap to rotate into PLS. eHex is just too cheap. And we can all together do anything now. What would I do? I would add back to the farms, but I would give a yield of 25%. Because 25% yield is just enough to compensate in permanent loss and also still make it worth the T share preservation for stakes in the third year and higher. X short term yield is 9%. Great tweet here from the OG funding gym. Great guy in the community. Says, do you realize how awesome Pulse Chain is performing? I, I think some of us do. I just looked and we are one third of the daily volume of Ethereum, 370 million on Pulse Chain compared to 1 billion on Ethereum. Pretty crazy, guys. We've been live for what, 11 days, 12 days, and we're already one third of Ethereum's daily volume. ELS is more than half of the daily transactions of ETH, 159,000 compared to 274,000. This is what price discovery looks like, friends. And these are the people. Pardon me. These are the people you want to listen to in the community. I don't know what funny Jim's bags are like, but I know this guy's financially free. He has a lot of hex. He has a massive amount of pulse chain, I'm sure. And it's not necessarily about what you know in crypto. It's about who you know. And I consider funding Jim a pretty smart guy, smart money. The design of Pulse X is a huge reason for this. Pulse X is amazing in how the game theory plays out. Keep in mind that half of the volume on Ethereum, we are relieving their network of congestion. They are winning too because their gas costs are greatly reduced from our ecosystem efforts. Do the comparisons. Learn why hexagons are winning this cycle. Win with us. We are a lot of fun. This is true. Pavid Hex said, breaking. 
Tonga Exchange, one of the biggest centralized exchanges in Poland, just listed Pulse Chain, and they have ATMs all over the country. The first fiat on ramp too. Keep in mind tomorrow, guys, OKX, one of the largest centralized exchanges, way bigger than Conga, is listing Pulse Chain for spot trading. So people will be able to buy on OKX Pulse Chain with a fiat on ramp. Now OKX has a billion dollars in volume, so we could see some really bullish price action tomorrow. Uh, but what I do know is it will be volatile. And guys, at the end of this video, there's a few Richard Hart clips I'm going to show you where he talks about EHEX and PHEX and the value of these. KDP Crypto, another one of our HEX beauties, says Justin Coin Market Cap has listed Pulse X on Dex Scam. Is Coin is Coin Market Cap about to stop gatekeeping this community? Doing about Pulse Chain and Pulse X to their six million followers, and this is big stuff, guys. You got to consider Coin Market Cap had Pulse Chain on the last page of the rankings, just like Hex. And I speculated before launch that I believe Pulse Chain will end the gatekeeping for Hex because the performance is gonna to be too big to not notice. And it's good to see Coin Market Cap actually giving us a fair shake now. Another banger from your friend Somni. And if you guys haven't smashed the like button, not only does it support the video, but it gets us out to other people on YouTube, the biggest platform for content in the world. I greatly do appreciate it when you smash that like button. So this guy had a big hex penalty because he enticed by the yield farms on Pulse X. He had a six year stake and he ended it after 15 days. He lost 50% of his hex bag. That E hex P hex pair, it does give 400% APR, but he probably doesn't know how fast these yields go down. Guys, these farms right now are absolutely crazy. Look at my massive bag right here, $226. These APYs, will not be in the thousands, the hundreds, for much longer. You know, maybe a few weeks, a few months, but these APYs have already gone down and they will continue to go down. Assuming it stays here, he needs 50 days to make back the loss. If it drops to 40% APY, he needs 75 weeks. His stake was six years and he ended the stake after 15 days, pretty stupid stuff. And the EHEX PX farm ended after this, so we can't even really farm it now. Kind of sad stuff. Rags to Riches. He says EHEX is supported or not supported by the community. Remember this. You all move it up or down, not Richard. Does your dollar stretch further on Pulse Chain or Ethereum? Can your dollar chase both equally? No. The market decides. Take a listen. It would be nice and awesome to do it, move it to a better place. Better places exist. So I have an idea where I think the best place is going to be. And that's where I'd like to see it go. And if the community agrees, then the community will find value in that new place. And the on-chain other token should be valueless, as I believe it has been with other instances of coins moving from ERC-20 to their own mainnet. I don't think there's an issue of tokens that have moved from ERC-20 to their own mainnet and left behind a lot of value with a, with a conflicting other old coin thing. I just haven't seen it. If you want to bring me evidence to show me that that has happened in the past, I'm happy to see it. But even in that case, as I said previously, a fork is like a divorce and everybody gets what they want. And, and you end up with two halves equaling more than the original whole. So it's, it's good. It, it's good that BCH and Bitcoin exist. It's, it was better for both of them. So let's take a listen to that part again. RC20 to their own mainnet. As I believe it has been with other instances of coins moving from ERC-20 to their own mainnet. I don't think there's an issue of tokens that have moved chain other token should be valueless as I believe it has been with other. So I don't wanna to speculate too much, but what I deduce from this is he's saying when a chain, an ERC-20 token switches to its own chain, that ERC-20 can become valueless. Now maybe this was always part of Richard Hart's game theory. Some people are saying let EHEX go, it's holding hex back. Others are slamming back at this and saying, no, these tokens will always be in parity because of the parts law. Ultimately, we just need more time for this to play out. A great tweet here from Dirty Crypto. What is the future of EHEX PHEX? Nobody knows. There are three religions right now. EHEX PHEX, one to one price parity will happen. PHEX is king, EHEX goes to zero. PHEX is better than EHEX, but they move up and down together. What I think PX is superior, I agree. I believe in region of religion number three. Why? 
because for the past two years i've been in stealth mode stalking this ecosystem don't shoot the messenger click play make your own conclusions i agree out of these three religions i do think phex is superior to ehex if you're a new user why would you stake on ethereum where the fees are terrible um phex in my opinion is greater than ehex but i do believe even if they're not at parity they will move up and down together all right take a listen to rh wouldn't be surprised to see ehex or rather phex on the pulse network be more valuable than ehex on the ethereum network i wouldn't be surprised to see. you know i don't want to see cheap hex anywhere but if the market decides that they just like the phex better okay you know you just you don't know what the market's going to decide wouldn't everybody just want to buy phex instead i don't know I, I don't know which one people are going to like more if they're going to like them equally the same i know that you have a lot higher fees on ethereum you want to send an erc20 today Hundred and three dollars. Is it a chance that PHEX becomes more valuable than EHEX? The hex on the Pulse network could it become more valuable than the Pulse on the Ethereum network? And the answer is sure, sure it could. And personally, I prefer to see hex ex more expensive everywhere. But if if the Pulse network has lower fees, and has higher throughput, and is more enjoyable to use, you know, not so long ago, maybe a week or two ago, it might have cost you a hundred or hundred fifty dollars to send an ERC twenty on Ethereum it may have cost you $300 to do a swap. Well, that's unacceptable. So in, in an environment like that, I would expect PHEX to be, be a lot more valuable than EHEX. PHEX or EHEX, which is better for investing? I mean, my gut feeling is that people are going to see more value in the Pulse network when you can transact for pennies instead of hundreds of dollars. I, I think that there's a, a possibility that PHEX might be worth more than EHEX. It really, it really has to do with what the market decides. If the market thinks that a higher throughput, lower fee ecosystem with the same exact code and the same exact coin is worth more than the higher fee, slower network, then you might see a higher value on PHEX than EHEX. So the more liquidity you see bonding uh, HEX and EHEX together, the more likely their prices are to be moving together. But that, that, you know. So I've been on Twitter and I've been saying similar things to this, why I think PX is more valuable than EHEX. And I get a lot of backlash. People telling me your life must be terrible. I got a few blocks last night because of that. But here you have Richard Hart on five to 10 different instances saying the exact same thing. If you have higher throughput, cheaper fees, you can stake for a day and you don't have to pay you know, these exorbitant fees that you have to pay on Ethereum, why would PHEX not be a little bit more value than its ERC-20 component? T-Bird with a great tweet, he says, if you can't handle the downside volatility in HEX, PLS, PLSX, incentive token, then you definitely won't be able to handle the upside volatility. And HEX has had great liquidity for a very long time now, and you still get dips. That's just, if, if you want, if you have infinite liquidity, the price can't move. There's an ideal amount of liquidity that lets whales trade without too much slippage and doesn't have so much price pressure holding you down that you can go do a giant multiple. If you have too much liquidity, you can't do a giant multiple because people just run out of money. So if you want a giant multiple, you want to have just the minimum amount of liquidity to facilitate that. You're going to get dips anyway. I don't care how much liquidity you have. How much liquidity is in Bitcoin? Billions? Okay. Did it drop 65% in two weeks only a few months ago? Yes, it did. Right. And did Ethereum have good liquidity in 2018? Yes. And did it drop 95%? Yes, it did. So there's like th this concept that you can like get rid of volatility with liquidity. There's not enough liquidity in the world to prevent all the volatility. And if there was, you wouldn't like it because you wouldn't have the upside. I understand how liquidity works. I've explained it a million times The people like look, go add up all the order books for bid support for Bitcoin and compare it to Bitcoin's market cap and then go do that for any other speculative instrument in the entire world. And you'll find that the bid support for any speculative instrument in the entire world is always a very small subset of the actual market cap of the stuff. It's just how markets work. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for giving me 15 minutes of your day. I wanna leave you with a question for the comment section below. What's your favorite token right now? PLS, PLX, PLSX, EHEX, PHEX, or the incentive token, comment below. And if you want to tell me why, I'd appreciate that too. I'm interested in, in what y'all thoughts are on um, all the different tokens, all the different five Richard Hart tokens we have right now. 
God bless you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.